friends, I'm Jocelyn Peters. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn the tubular bind off. This is a very stretchy bind off to be used with a one by one ribbing. It creates a really lovely seamless edge. It looks very professional and it has worked very similarly to a Kitchener bind off using the Kitchener stitch. Just remember knit off purl, purl off knit. What we need for this is our work in one by one ribbing, scissors, and a darning needle. Before we can work the bind off, we need to cut a tail. So we are going to figure out the circumference of our work, and we need our tail to be about four times the circumference of our finished piece. So I'm going to stretch this out gently and wrap it around. Make sure to keep the tail all the way on the outside so you get the full circumference. So there's once around. Now we will double that and we will double that again. Once you have your four times distance, you need to go ahead and cut it. Now we're done with the scissors and we're done with our ball of working yarn. All we need now is the tail and our work. And now we put the tail on the darning needle. So we'll be ready to start our bind off. When you begin this bind off, be sure that you are beginning with a knit stitch. Also remember knit, purl, purl, knit. But before we get to that, let's set this up. To set it up, we're gonna work these first two stitches by purling into the first stitch and leaving that on. Pull it nice and snug. You'll be glad you did later on. And then after that, we're gonna bring our needle to the back, up through between those two stitches and then through the second stitch, which is a purl stitch, as if to knit. And we're gonna pull our yarn on through here, keeping them nice and snug. And now we're ready to start. We will be working just the first two knit stitches, so the first and third stitches. We'll knit into the first knit stitch and remove it, and then purl into the next knit stitch. So skipping that purl stitch, and pull it on through. As you do this, when you pull the tail through, you wanna keep the tension nice and even. It'll save you having to go back and do it later. So there we go, there's our first one. Now we'll work with the purl stitches. Let's purl through the first and remove, then skip over to the next purl, bring the needle up in between, and knit through that purl stitch. Pull your tail on through and snug it up so it has nice tension. You want it to be able to stretch, but you don't want it too loose either. Let's do this again. Knit and remove that first knit stitch, then purl through the next knit stitch. Pull your yarn on through. We'll move on to the purl stitches. Purl through the first purl stitch. Bring your needle up in between and knit through the next purl stitch, leaving it on. Pull that yarn on through and make it nice and even. You can check it as you go to make sure that tension is good. Knit through and remove the first knit stitch, then purl through that next knit stitch. Pull your tail on through. And then we'll work on our purl again. Purl through and remove and then needle comes up in between and you knit through the next purl stitch, leaving it on. Knit through and remove, purl. Then purl through, bring it up through and knit. And there we go. You keep doing this until you get to the last four stitches. And that's where I'm going to meet you in just a moment. There you go. So 
so you have bound off all the way around your work to the last four stitches. What you want to do is work the first two like we have been. So knit and remove, and then purl. You should be really good at this by now, going all the way around there. And then purl and remove, and then knit through that last stitch. So the next step is we need to connect these last two stitches to the first two stitches. These will be worked basically the same way, except we'll be working into this stitch that's already bound off. So knit and remove, and then slide that over. We don't wanna lose our last stitch. And we'll come over here to the first knit stitch that we worked. This is a purl, so we need to come from the right to the center of that stitch. So we will pull it up there, purl on through. There we go. Now move this stitch back over to the end of the needle, and we'll purl and remove, and we're done with our needles. So pull that tail on through. Now we need to find our purl stitch. It looks, if you turn it inside out, it looks like knit stitches. And this is our knitting. So we need to come from the center out to the right of that stitch. It might take you a minute to figure out which one it is, but when you find it, pull it on up. From the center on out, pull your tail through. There we go. We're done. The last step here is going to be to fix this little bridge, I guess. It, it tends to be there. Let's pull it on down though. So we bring our needle up from the bottom to the top, toward the edge, and pull it down just a bit. You don't want to be too tight with it. Nice and gentle, but it'll keep it out of the way. Now, before we weave in our ends, let's bring our yarn down through that rib so from the center of the stitch out to the right, down each stitch of that ribbing. When you get to the bottom of those stitches, go up through that purl bump. There we go, and you're ready to finish weaving in your, uh, your tail like you're used to. And we're done, look at that. There we are, it's nice and stretchy. And it looks so lovely. Look at that, this just go right over the edge. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed learning about the tubular bind off.